educational institutions play a crucial role in fostering a startup culture. They serve as breeding grounds for innovation, entrepreneurship, and development of new business ventures. Now, a new dimension has been added to the entrepreneurial ecosystem by industry and academia coming together. Industry-academia partnerships are collaborative efforts between universities and businesses that aim to foster innovation, research, and the development of new technologies. These partnerships leverage the strengths of both sectors, the advanced research capabilities and talent pool of academic institutions, and the practical application-oriented approach and resources of the industry. Today, we will share with you how Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bengaluru, was able to successfully navigate this model. Let's hear it all from the chairman of CIT, Sri D.K. Mohan. See, earlier the challenges in education was entirely different. See, earlier infrastructure was the biggest challenge because even I have studied engineering. At that point of time, getting good infrastructure in engineering colleges, getting good human resources was the biggest challenge in earlier days. Even when I started also in 2007, getting human resource was the biggest challenge because even all children that time, this uh, technology was not much there and even uh, availability of resources in uh, computers or network was also not there. So that time students always used to depend upon faculties and good infrastructure. So now that was our biggest challenge. At that point of time, we were concentrating more on getting good uh, human resource where they could uh, share uh, their knowledge, only not related to their only academics. Apart from academics, what additional that they could give to the students. That was the biggest uh, challenge earlier uh, days when we started. But today, children's expectations are entirely different. See, click of a button, they can get all information. They need not wait for faculty members to get any information. But now getting that into practical experience is the biggest challenge. So for any student or any organization, along with your academics, getting an hands-on experience related to technology, what is happening to the latest technology and what industries are bringing in new technologies. Getting those hands-on experiences is the biggest challenge for any educational institution or for any student to get. So in, the, in this aspect, we at Cambridge, earlier we thought the challenges were entirely different and always that from day one at Cambridge, we wanted to give something entirely different from what other institutions provide. So on that aspect, we were always trying to bring in some good innovating things to the institution. So first thing what we wanted our students is that they should have hands-on experience. How hands-on experience you will get? You have to bring in some good industries into the campus. Bring industrial uh, problems into the campus along with their education. That time the exposure towards industry and towards the problems that industries also face that the students when they are studying itself they should be aware when they go to the industry they should not be uh, caught unaware of things so they should have some experience so that they should know what challenges that they are going to face once they get into the industry that was our sole um, intention in bringing the industry into the campus so we are to some extent we are successful at this institution. One is trying to bring in industry, but to bring trust into the industry. So industries also should trust us, you know, whether we go to this institution, whether everything is available, whether the faculties are going to cooperate, because, you know, syllabus is one thing that where importance should be given to syllabus, where it has to be completed for the children. Apart from that, giving additional time to industrial problems to get them hands-on experience. So industries also are very skeptical to trust institutions. So that gaining their trust was the biggest challenge for us. 
so industries they will not come just easily they will come they will see they will first see good experience good infrastructure first we should engage with the industry how to engage with the industry is the biggest challenge now first we should see that industrial experts will be brought into the institution and some conferences should keep happening in the institution so that they will have some understanding with the institution they will come to realize what this institution needs whether this institution really needs an industrial experts or whether the students or the faculty are interested in collaborating with the industry that was the biggest uh, challenge for us and but we were able to succeed because faculty members were so cooperative and the institution principal also was very cooperative because giving slots to conferences giving a time to bring in industrial experts and getting engaged with them first faculty should be engaged with the industrial experts then that has to trickle down to the students once this happens then other things becomes very easy for example i will tell you today samsung we are being associated with a few other more industries now once this relationship has become very strong now they are giving us training for our students they come here they select see any educational institution giving academic uh, teaching or academic resources to students is not a big challenge today anyone can give even good infrastructure we can give but what other skills that we can give is the biggest challenge so now for to give skills there are a lot of other things because our faculty they are always tied up with their academic works they are tied up with their examination they are tied up with the test they are tied up with their other regular practices but who is going to give this other additional skills only industrial people can come and share their additional skills now industry once this relationship becomes stronger the industry will people will come now in our institution specially the samsung people have come now they have selected the students they have selected by giving some basic test to the student they will pick up those students and to give additional to select good students and giving them additional skills is the biggest challenge for any uh, person or any individual because the students this the cream layer of students their expectation is more they will for any educational institution only only some few good educational institution can provide good uh, something additional to the cream layer students by giving them some projects bringing industrial projects but what about other institutions so here the for us the advantage what advantage we have got from samsung or from any other uh, industry is they select this creamly layer students and they give additional training which is the latest technology what that is required for the industry so in that way our students are gaining much better to any other uh, educational institution this is the biggest asset what we have got see monetary benefit other infrastructure benefit is not uh, what we are looking for what we are looking for what our children what our students are going to get from the industry is more important for us in that way our students are highly benefited today our students are getting trained they are getting trained 240 to 360 hours of training per year they are getting from industries you can imagine if they are going to get 240 hours or 360 hours of training from industry apart from their academics how much skill they will become how much efficient they will become in their particular field that is uh, what we are gaining from industry now uh, placement was the biggest challenge earlier now placement saturation point as come people have realized that um, the placement is not enough people's expectations have become more now so in that way governments are also pushing and now startups they talk about startup they talk about innovation center startups lot of startups are coming and they have been very very successful also so that is an inspiration for students 
once we see, see that some small young boy or young person has started some small startup and he has earned so much of money and he has been very successful in the market that his startup has become successful. When a student sees, at least you take 10% of students who get inspired from this. And if an educational institution provides a platform for creating a startup, once a student comes out with a new idea and the educational institution or any management, when they support a student startup, if that becomes a successful, you can imagine how one educational institution, if one startup becomes a success, then all educational institution will start implementing this. And in this huge country like us, if all educational institutions start implementing like this, you can imagine how many new startups can come and how many people can become successful and how many employ opportunities can be created. So, I feel this culture should start in educational institution rather than outside, it should start in educational institution. In that way, our Cambridge institution, we conduct every year one include program where students are made into small groups with three or four and they are given, they are, they, we have asked them to come out with an idea, with a, uh, some startup, some innovation. So there are a lot of students who have come out with such good ideas and where our institution has funded them, seed funding and in that some have been commercialized also. See, once this culture starts happening, it is going to be a great asset for this country. And educational institution will become an asset for this country to create. And you know, recently we had one international uh, US uh, company, US association with uh, intellectual property. How this intellectual property can be commercialized? You can imagine in, when in an educational institution throughout the world, people may speak much, but success has not been much. But initiatives are happening and to some extent, I think it will take shape and it is not something which can be done in a day or two or a year or two. So this is a culture that has been, that should be brought up into the educational industry. So that time, once this culture starts happening in an educational institution, I think, I feel students, if there is an inspiration that can be we can inspire students to come out with new ideas. Only those students only can come up with new ideas rather than uh, people who have been settled because for them they are young and once they are young they can think so many things. So I feel educational institutions should become a hub for startups and innovation. Industry academia partnerships are vital for driving innovation, economic growth and the development of new technologies. By leveraging the strengths of both sectors, these collaborations can lead to significant advancements in various fields, benefiting society as a whole. It's nice to see institutions like Cambridge Institute of Technology effectively manage these partnerships to maximize their potential. That is all for now. Goodbye.